in water. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually take this chlorine testing solution and we're going to put four drops of this solution in each of these waters. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, we're going to give this thing a nice little stir here. And here. Now over here on the bottom of our chart is our chlorine indicator. And what you're looking for is you want a clear color because you don't want chlorine in your water. We're going to come back and talk about that. And as you can see in the tap water here, it's a bright yellow indicating that there is a fair amount of chlorine in this water. And, and as we are on this subject, I want you guys to think about what do we do as an example when we take a shower or, or a bath. 10, 15 minute shower or bath, what's happening there is that's the equivalent of drinking eight tall glasses of this water. I mean, if you think about it as you're bathing, you're opening up the pores of the largest organ in your body, that being the skin, and what happens over the course of that 10, 15 minute shower or the bath is the fact that you're actually absorbing anywhere from eight to 10 glasses of this water in your skin. Now on that note also, think about what do we do when we bring vegetables home. We bring our vegetables home and what we want to do is we want to wash them. We want to get rid of all the herbicides and the pesticides and the insecticides. Well let me take you through a quick little demonstration so you can see actually what we're doing. This is an onion right here. What we're going to do is we're going to peel this onion and just pretend that we're actually preparing it for either a salad or say an omelet. And we're going to cut this onion up here. And we're going to actually put it, and keep in mind, remember the color of this water. Remember that yellow color. So here we go. We're washing our onion, right? And again, the reason we want to wash it, we want to take the sting out of there, and we want to remove the herbicides and the pesticides. And keep in mind, that onion was in that water for a few seconds only. Now watch what happens here. Remember that yellow color? Well, let me ask you this. What happened to the chlorine? I mean, if you really think about it, we didn't clean the onion, we actually cleaned the water. All that chlorine that was in this water is now absorbed in this onion, okay? And this applies for any produce, be it, you know, fruits or vegetables. So this is something that you want to stay away from. Now, I was in the swimming pool business for seven years. I'm very familiar with chlorine, and chlorine is something that you do not want in your tap water to bathe with or to wash produce with, let alone to drink with, okay? Okay, what I'd like to do right now is actually show you one of our other waters, that being the, Kangen, the strong Kangen water that has a pH of 11.5, so you can see the amazing cleaning powers that this water actually carries with it. And to demonstrate that, what we've got here is we've got some fresh cherry tomatoes that we actually just bought here at the Giant Supermarket, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually do a quick demonstration where we're going to take some tomatoes and put it in this cup here, we're going to do the same alongside this cup. Now, instead of using the tap water and all the chlorine in there, we're just going to take a reverse osmosis water. And keep in mind, this water is going in clean, and it'll be interesting to see how it comes out after a few minutes. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take some of our Kangen water, the strong water that has the pH of 11.5, and that's what's inside of this container. And just to demonstrate that there's nothing in here but water, let me just pour some in this cup here so that you can see for yourself. And this is the water that has the pH of 11.5. In other words, it has some amazing cleaning powers. And we're going to come back to this here in just a few seconds. Now, as that's sitting in there, let me just give it a quick stir. Okay. 
Now while that's in there cleaning, what we're gonna do in the meantime is we're gonna actually show you another demonstration with green tea. This is a very good Japanese green tea, and green tea is good for you. It's got some amazing antioxidant properties, but what we wanna do is we wanna show you the solvency properties of kangen water. And now typically to make green tea or any kind of tea, you need obviously a tea bag, we need some, you need some boiling water, and what it typically has to happen is that that tea bag has to steep for a couple, two, three minutes. So we don't have hot water today, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take room temperature water. We're gonna take tap water, or bottled water for that matter, and then we're gonna take some of our 9.5 kangen water. Now let's just see what happens. So over here, let's go ahead and we're gonna use some reverse osmosis water, some Aquafina water. And we're going to give this tea bag a nice head start. Give that a nice head start there. Now alongside of that tea bag is also another cup, and except here we're going to pour the Kangen water, the 9.5. And this is the water that you're going to drink. And as you can see, almost instantly, as soon as this water hits this tea bag, you can see the solvency properties of this water, okay? Not only, you know, does it turn a dark color here, but you actually can taste the green tea. And what's remarkable here is off of one tea bag, we can actually make as many as eight to 10 cups of tea off of one tea bag. Also, this brings to, uh, to mind the solvency properties of the water. As I talked to you about the machine earlier, we mentioned the fact that if you're taking medications, you don't wanna take your medications with this water because it has the ability to get those medications into your bloodstream much quicker. So you'd wanna refrain from that water and take your medications with clean water. However, if you're taking nutritional supplements, you definitely want to take your nutritional supplements with this water because it has the tendency to get those nutritional products into your bloodstream and into your system much faster. In other words, they're gonna, it's going to make it much more bioavailable, so you're going to get much more benefit from your nutritional supplements. Okay. Now, let me just show you real quick here what could happen. We're going to take this tea bag here, a used tea bag. And I want to just demonstrate for you what's going to happen. And just keep in mind, as soon as this water hits the tea bag, as you can see, we've just made another cup of tea. Now, back home, what we do is we take one tea bag, we put it in a carafe with about a quart's worth of water, and we can make tea all day long off of one tea bag. Now, let me just take you through one more time, and I think you'll get the point here. And again, keep in mind, from the moment this water hits this tea bag, and remember, this is already our third cup of tea here, and let's just look and see what our competition's doing over here. This guy, as you can see, hasn't even started yet. He, I think he's quite confused, whereas this cup here is already turned gold, and again, you can actually taste the contents of what's in that uh, cup there. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come back to the cherry tomatoes. And over here again, this is the water that we actually poured, uh, the cup that we poured the Aquafina in. And let's just take a look at what happens. And keep in mind, the water went in clear, and just let's just see what actually happens. And as you can see, the water is coming out clear. So in reality, did we take anything or remove anything from these tomatoes?